Have you finished in there yet? Yeah. I said, have you finished yet? I can't hear you. Hang on. What did you say? I said, oh, never mind. Have you got everything? I think so. Well, remember what happened the last time when you forgot things? What happened? I've forgotten. Come on. I've got to go again. Oh, for God. <laughs> Roll tight in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to Sellers and Peps Sketchbook. Yes, this is the show that puts the am in spam and the oom in oom. We've got a great show lined up for you this evening. So... Whoa, 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 whoa! What's wrong with you? We can't start yet. What do you mean we can't start well, yet? We have a request. We have a request. Oh, yes. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Margaret. Who is in the audience is celebrating, get ready for this, her 111th birthday. What a fantastic age, eh? So I reckon that after three we should all sing a big happy birthday to Margaret. Are we ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Margaret. She's ill. Oh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, yes, we do have a great show. Oh, very you. good. I'm sorry? Do that again. Do what again? What you just did. What did I just do? You know, the good evening, ladies and gentlemen bit. Why? Just repeat it. Repeat it. Oh, just do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a great show. Oh, that is so good. That really is good. Do you know what? You, my friend, have a natural style. Really? Oh, definitely. In fact, I think you should do it again. Do it again? Oh, yes. Again. Hmm. Well, in that case, if I have a natural style, it's probably the way I'm standing. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a great show for you this evening. So without further ado... You could win a BAFTA for that. That was astounding. Really? Mm. Oh yes. I have tears in my eyes just, just listening to it. Brilliant. You Brilliant. Mean, you mean with my natural style? Oh, I do. I, I could win one of those golden faces that you could have on your mantelpiece and look at every night. Oh yes. Do you know, I have always fancied one of them BAFTA award winning golden faces just staring at me out mm. every night on my mantelpiece. I bet you have. Would you mind if I did it again? Oh, absolutely. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> good evening and welcome along to the Sellers and Pets Sketchbook. Whoa, 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 what are you doing now? Well, you said if I did it again, then I'll probably will win myself one of those golden faces that I can stick on my mantelpiece and look at while I'm in bed. Not like that, you definitely won't. Well, you do it then. <laughs> With my pleasure. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a jam-packed show tonight. We've got so much coming up for you. Hey, how was that? Rubbish. Excuse me, I have a reservation. What? I have a reservation. Sorry, what? I have booked a room. One moment, please. Uh, that's better. Uh, what did you say? I have booked... There's no need to shout. I'm not deaf. You could have fooled me. What? Room. Uh, name. What? What? That's correct. No, no, name. I just said it. What? What? Yes, Doctor what? Uh, doctor who, sir? What? How do you spell that? Oh, God and Bennett. G-O-R... Doctor what? I thought you said your name was Gordon. No. What? W-A-D-D. -D. Oh. What? Room 12. Thank you.
Yes, madam. A heavy room booking. Uh, name? Twat, Mrs. Twat. How do you spell that? D-W-A-T. Oh, Mrs. Twat. Yes, sir? Hey, look, are you a police station? I'm a policewoman. Ah, right. Well, I found the case in my back passage this morning. You know, I think it belongs to a Mr S. Holmes. Ah, well, thank you, sir. We'll pass it on to the rightful owner. Cheers. What have you got there, constable? The lost case of Sherlock Holmes, sir. Brother, how could I do that? It is very simple, brother. Thou must become a magnet to the birds. If he can pull birds, then I'm sure I can too. Come on, Lord, come on. He, he. <sighs> I can't go. I can. B U M. Bum. You can't have that. What's wrong with it? It's a word. But is that all you can think of? Hey, it's my game. I can have whatever word I want. B U M P S Bum. You did that on purpose. Well, at least it cleans the board up, doesn't it? Oh. Bumps. That's nice. So, if I put this on the end, then. Sod? Yeah, piece of turf. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. God, I hate Scrabble. <laughs> you can't go, can you? No. I can. C R U M. Crumb. Yeah, you know, as in bits of food. Crumb is not spelt like that. Oh, hang on a minute. How's that? C R U M P E T. Crumpet. That's three, four, five, and eight, and three eleven, so that's 111 to me and 50 to you. Crumpet? Yeah, hey, we got any. Not the sort you're thinking of. How rude. A thought never entered my mind. Where's the rule book? I've lost it. I'm sorry, what, what, what did you just say? I've lost it. You've lost the rule book? Yeah. Whose rules have we been playing by? My rules. Your rules? Oh, yes. Oh, and I win again. Look, 111. Top score. You little bastard. Good evening and welcome to the news. We interrupt this program by bringing you a special interruption. This is a special interruption. That was your special interruption. We apologize for any inconvenience caused by our special interruption. This is a special interruption. Good evening. Thank you, thank you. Now, as we draw to the end of this morning's sermon, we will conclude this service with a favourite hymn. That is hymn number 45 on your hymn sheets. My Lord is my shepherd. Hit it, Dolly! <laughs> Son. Hey, up, Dad. Take a seat, dear boy. Oh, cheers. How are your, um, <clears throat> you know, studies coming along? Oh, great, thanks. Really great. Do you know, we had a lovely lecture the other day. Oh, it was wonderful. Good, good, good. Well, well, the reason why I have summoned you here today is oh, because... Oh, I'm so sorry, Dad. It's because of all the money I owe you, isn't it? There's so much. Well, no, although you are in debt of over £1,745.25p, no, 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 it's not all about the oh, money. Well, in that case, it's 
into my late nights out, isn't it? I know I come back at three in the morning, sometimes four, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it is not about your late nights, getting back at four o'clock in the morning after having an adventure with a little swan in Cambridge. No, no, it's nothing about that at all. The right. reason why I have summoned you here yeah. is because I've heard you are involved with a young lady. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is she, uh, common? Sorry? Is she of working-class origins? Well, a father does work in the docks in Hull. <coughs> <coughs> Do not mention that place. What? Hull? <coughs> What's wrong with Hull, Dad? <coughs> I don't see anything wrong with that place. I mean, so many great people come from Hull. You're always saying about historians and explorers and architects and... Writers, but quite a few of them come from Hull, you know. <laughs> and the general Hull area, anyway. How can you... How can you do this to your poor old father? How he mentioned Hull. <coughs> how would your grandfather feel to know that you are involved with a young, common, working-class girl called Yvonne? But he was born in Hull, wasn't he? <laughs> but he was. Hull was his birthplace. <coughs> You don't know, son. <coughs> all this... <coughs> oh, God. All this will be yours one day. Everything I have done in all my life has all been for you. This house will be yours. Oh, thanks, Dad. But <coughs> on one condition. What? You must find yourself... Someone from your own class. Leave Yvonne from home. <laughs> yes, you must finish with her son. Can't you see what it is doing to me? <laughs> is it because she's from home? <laughs> you can't breathe. But, but Dad... You must finish her son for the sake of all humanity. <laughs> You know what? I think I'm going to go and live in Hull. <laughs> the North. Such a common place. Excuse me. Yes? Can I help you? This is a library. Shh. Sorry. This is a library, is it not? That's correct, sir. Excuse me. Yes. Do you know where the men's are, please? Through the door on the right. Thank you. I'd like to take these out, please. Certainly, sir. Hey, up. Don't mind me. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Why is that man dressed as a worm? Don't mind him, it's just the local bookworm. Well, folks, we've reached the end of our sketchbook. He's been selling. And he's been pep. And remember, no matter how bad the world gets, a little bit of laughter and your troubles really will fly away. Goodbye. Goodbye.